Hello students. In the last video, we knew the lengths of all three sides of a right angle triangle, and we used that to find the exact trig ratios, these sine, cos, and tan of a given angle. Okay, in this video, we're going to do it the other way around. In this video, I know the value, and for example, of the sine of an angle, and I'm going to use that to find an unknown length. So here I have a right angle triangle. We're going to always uh, start always by identifying the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. So opposite the right angle is 24. So that must be the hypotenuse. Here's the angle of interest. So the side opposite that is X. And the side that's um, next to the angle, but not the hypotenuse, is the adjacent. So always start by identifying the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. Okay, let's write down what we know. Well, we know that the sine of angle alpha is one third. And that means basically the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. Sine, looking down here in the bottom left corner, sine is just the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So what I'm gonna do in place of sine of theta, I'm going to actually write the opposite over the hypotenuse, because that's what the sine is. And the opposite side is x. And the, oops, and I just made a mistake. I'll just fix that up. Sine, of course, is opposite over hypotenuse, but I wrote an a there, because I'm silly. Opposite over hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse for this triangle is 24. So what I have here is a proportion or a linear equation to solve. Now, nothing wrong with solving this one in your head. You say what number over 24 is equal to 1 third? And the answer is 8. Let's say you can't do it in your head and you need to solve it. Well, we use the standard methods for solving equations. I have to say, I want to get the x by itself. x is divided by 24, so I multiply by 24. I'll use the dot for multiply. And I multiply by 24. And the reason for that, of course, is these two 24s divide out. And x is equal to 1 third times 24. And a reminder, 24 is 24 over 1. 1 times 24 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3. And we get our answer, 24 over 3, which is 8. And the units are centimeters. So just summarizing, I'm looking for the length of this unknown side. And I know the ratio of that side to that side. The opposite to the hypotenuse is 1 third. So I'm able to set up an equation and then solve to find the length of the unknown side. Okay, I'd like uh, you to have a go at doing the same thing here. So here's our triangle. We know the tangent of the angle is one half. So you're going to use TOA, tangent is opposite over hypotenuse, to find the length of the unknown side. Okay, stop the video, have a go, and then come back and check your answer. Okay, welcome back. Now, hopefully the first thing you did is you identified the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, the side opposite the angle of interest. In this case, the X is the opposite side and the side next to the angle of interest is the adjacent side. So always start by doing that. So we know the tangent of the angle is one half. So tan of alpha in this case is one over two. Now the tangent ratio is just the opposite side over the adjacent side. So I'll write that in there. And the opposite side, we don't know it's X. The adjacent side is 26. So X over 26 equals one half. So once again, if you can do that in your head, just write the answer which is 13. If you're not so good at doing that in your head, then you've got to do it using algebra. So I need to get rid of this 26. X is divided by 26. 
So I multiply both sides by 26, and I'll put that over 1 to make it easier to multiply. The 26s divide out, and x equals 1 times 26 is 26, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 goes into 26 13 times, so x is 13 centimeters. So, in summary, if we know a trig ratio, which we do here, we can use that to find the length of an unknown side. Okay, so that concludes this video. We'll then move on to the next video to um, using what are called uh, the trig ratios, which you can actually find using our calculators.